I'm Elias Papagiorgiou and I'm the principal of PILA Studio in Athens. PILA was uh, established in 2019 by myself and my partner, Christina, uh, initially in New York, and then uh, we came and we also established an office in Athens. My experience as an architect in New York has certainly shaped by a large uh, degree my approach to uh, architecture. There, I had the opportunity to meet Florian Eidenberg and I, I was one of the first employees at Sowell in New York. I think one of the most important elements was the opportunity to work in many different places around the world and also uh, work in a very multicultural uh, context. And it's something that we also practice with PILA now. We have uh, a team of about 10 people at the moment and we kind of like all together conclude to uh, um, the, the design direction. In general, with uh, our studio, we like to work across uh, different scales. So I think you can gain knowledge for, from a large uh, master plan and apply that knowledge to a small residential project. You can also learn a lot by just designing a piece of furniture and uh, apply that knowledge in the way you for example, design a public space or a space within the city. If I could isolate one project, it would be Paris Tower. Paris Tower was, was built in uh, the 70s. Uh, it's the second tallest uh, building in Greece and sits right on the port of Piraeus. What is really amazing about the building is that it was finished, I think, in 1975, um, around then. Uh, but it, it has never been occupied until today. Uh, only the three first floors have, have been occupied. So it, it was kind of like an abandoned structure for 40 plus uh, years. We thought it's re really important to find the facade that would help the building to break down uh, its scale and blend in a way more with the surroundings. For me, it's important to, to consider buildings and in general architecture in the city as one uh, ecosystem with the environment as well, uh, the people that are using a building. So whenever we have to intervene on a site, maybe design a new project, we have to consider all these different parameters because you are actually intervening in, in an ecosystem. In that way, what I think is a little bit missing is maybe, uh, um, I would say, a stronger dialogue between uh, um, the private who is actually realizing and doing these buildings and maybe the public um, the public that should be responsible uh, for uh, um, the infrastructure of the city and, and the public space. A visionary is someone who can implement a strong idea by sort of overcoming all the obstacles and challenges that come in the way of doing that. So, you know, we all in our life or in our work, we sort of have to uh, you know, come in front of different problems, issues, challenges, um, obstacles. So I think when someone is able to implement a vision by taking all these different issues and problems and turning them actually into solutions uh, and to, into sort of a, a, um, advantages towards uh, the vision, I think that's what makes uh, visionary.